Welcome back. So let's play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Hey, it's Paracary. Mail call! Ah, uh, Luigi, I've missed you. You didn't appear very much in the first game. Maybe you'll have a bigger role here. Hey, bro, check it out. A letter from Princess Peach arrived for you. I'll just read it to you. How's that sound? Ahem. Now let's see here. Oh god. Oh god. <clears throat> Hello there, Mario. I am known Holiday, traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Rogueport. But since it would be too difficult for me to try and go, work, go find the treasure all by myself, I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it with Please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at... At McGlaw. I'll meet you at Rogueport. That means you must come. Beach. God, I'm gonna have fun with that voice, aren't I? What do you know? It's true. There's a wealth... There's a weathered old map in here with the letter. Check it out! A very odd looking map. Also, if it seems like I'm talking kind of awkwardly, that's mainly just because I got my wisdom teeth taken out yesterday. So, uh, yeah, I'm still adjusting to the whole thing. But, uh, I'm well enough to talk. My jaw's a little bit sore, but other than that. This is Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. And how good it feels to finally be recording this a few months ahead of when it's actually going up, too, because that's just how I roll. This probably isn't going to go up until a few days just before New Year's Eve, when I start uploading Mother 4. Prologue. A Rogue's Welcome. Also, I can now look things up on the interwebs without possibly screwing up the audio recordings, I now have a Kindle Fire HDX, which I can Google stuff on there. Excuse me, sir? Please wake up, sir. The town you've been speaking of has come into view. Look, that's Rogueport. Looks kind of small. You see, we'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed just a bit by rough, wa rough weather. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I did tell you all the sordid tales about Rogueport on our way here, did it not? Might have been asleep for that. What's that? I'm sorry? You say there's a princess waiting here for you? Is that so? Uh, of course, sir. Well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. But, uh, you be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. Ah, uh, the paper gag. There wasn't a lot of those in Paper Mario uh, 1, but there's a whole lot of them here in Paper Mario 2. Now, this game, uh, as opposed to Paper Mario 1, has, I guess, a lot more uh, 3D effects, and I believe also the sprites and the sprites for all the characters were uh, worked on quite a bit. They're actually quite more detailed. Oh, come off it, you airhead. I know it's tough of you, but don't play dumb with me. I've seen you walking around asking for information about the Crystal Stars. Well, now I'm done. Well, now I'm doing the asking, so be a good girl and tell us what you know right now. Never. I don't have anything to say to you, creeps. Ew. I suppose it wouldn't be right if a sassy last like you met with an untimely demise. Bah, bah, bah. 
Boys, we're taking this firebrand into our fortress. Ha, <laughs> firebrand. Uh, that is a, I believe that is a reference to uh, Mario and Luigi's Superstar Saga. Maybe. Possibly. With the firebrand thunder hand. As you command, Lord Crump, we're on it. I'm gonna have to remember the, uh, the cross knot voices. And Lord Crump here. No, stop right there, you weirdos. I'll scream, really. Also, we start out with a hammer in this game. I think I showed that already. Like, I can go anywhere with you, smelly lunatic, like you. <laughs> Not likely. What? What do you think you're doing, chump? You think you could screw up my plans? I didn't do anything. Duh, it's always something. Looks like I'm gonna have to give you a little taste of the old crump a bomb Oh boy, boss fight right off the bat. Can't flee this fight. Battle time, Mr. Man. Just find just find a way to beat this freak of the week, okay? Don't split the details, just jump on him or jump on him and hit him with your hammer. So like I said, we start out with a hammer, and uh we actually have action commands right off the bat, unlike in Paper Mario 1. You also do stylish commands, which are completely useless to us right now off the bat. Keep it up and you'll beat him in no time. Damn it. Um I don't bother, I don't usually bother uh, doing a normal guard, I always try to do a super guard. You've got him on the ropes, come on, keep wailing on him. Damn it, can you even do super guards right now? I'll have to look into that. Hey, we win. You did it, you did it, yes! And you got star points! Yeah, I bet you know, but getting these things called star points when you win a bat when, when you win battles. When you get a hundred, you'll go up a level. Don't forget that, okay? So we got nine star points right off the bat. Not too too terribly uh, many, but we'll get more later on. Ba ba ba. Okay, you got a couple decent shots that'll give you that. But unfortunately for you, that means. It's go time! Ah, that's a lot of cross knots. Punish him! Quick, this way! Whew. What a bunch of loons. Let's just sneak out of here. What do you say? Uh, bah? Stop! Where'd they go, huh? You, Johnson, did you see them? Did anyone? Uh, crud. They bolted. We actually just walked up the steps right there. You could find this easily enough. It's not like there was any other direction we could have gone. Wow, mister, you totally saved me. Thanks. I've got... I just have to give you a little reward. Oh, boy. My name's Goombella. I'm a student at the University of Goom. Nice to meet you. So, uh, who are you? It's me, Mario. Mario? Wait, you mean like... Like that famous guy? Wow, I can't believe I met you here! Cool, anyway, no offense, but it looks like you just rolled into town yourself, right? Me? I already hate it here. There are freaks and weirdos everywhere, it's nasty! I mean, I know the place is called Rogueport, so I should have expected it, but sheesh! I'd never come to a place like this if it weren't for some legendary treasure here. What? You're looking for the Legendary Treasure too? Seriously? Whoa, 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 bucko! What you got there? Oh my gosh, is, isn't that a treasure map? You have to tell me where you got that. Princess Peach? What? 
Wait, Huggly Buggly, isn't it Master Mario? Oh. Bit of a coincidence bumping into one Stay another in this road. sort of place. Hmm? Ho -ho. So tell me, Master I'll Mario, when the world come. brings you to a wretched little to this wretched little okay? bird. That hurt. Hmm? Jerks. Ah, indeed. Princess you Peach sent this. you with a letter in the treasure map. And she told you she'd meet you in Rogueport? Intriguing. You're asking where the princess is? Um, I was about to ask you that. Oh, good job, Toadsworth. We've stopped in this town to acquire a spot of fuel for our ship, don't you know? I only took my eyes off her for a moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished. You know how he you know how headstrong she is, Mario? I just, I just assumed she'd be back momentarily. But at this point, I fear we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. I've been at a loss as to what to do. I've been fraught with worry, I tell you. But I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario. Surely we'll find her. Surely. But I know my place, Master Mario, and this is not it. I'll leave this task to you. I believe I'll re recline to the inn right over there and uh, enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. In fact, I highly recommend it. Particularly if you find your HP running low. Just drop on in! Ho ho! Yes, anyway, a little rest there will fill up, fill all your HP. I must say, though, the rest of this town is a bit... rough. Yes, rough indeed. Ha! Huh, I say. Uh, Princess Peach? Does he mean, like, Peach, the Mushroom Kingdom Princess? The princess who's always getting nabbed by Bowser, the Koopa King? The one you rescue? Wait a sec. This is crazy. Princess Peach sent you that treasure map? Whoa, this is really intense. Well, where could you have gone? Well, where could, she where could she have gone then, do you think? You think maybe she got sick of waiting and went to find the treasure on her own? I don't think she's that headstrong, although... Although there is Super Princess Peach, and uh, that proves a lot about Peach in general, but... That mouse's ears just clipped through that billboard. I don't know if anyone else just saw that right there. Oh, oh, I know, I know, Mario. Come with me. One of my professors is here researching that treasure. We'll show him your map. If we start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll catch up to Princess Peach. Great, we're all good then. Let's go, Mario. Goombella joins the party! Goombella, Goombella's ability, a primer. Press X to get information about people nearby, about, about nearby people, places, and objects. This is Roadport Plaza. It's the center of town in the main business district. It's a crossroads. It's a crossroads where many people meet, including more than a few shady characters. Anytime you press Y when there's no one around, I'll tell you about where we are. That's Goom. That's Goomther the Goomba. He's always complaining about being swindled or mugged. If you press Y when there's someone nearby, I'll tell you about him or her. So, did you get all that? Gubella can give you hints when she. Bill can give you hints when she answers, so ask her for information often. I will do that. Gumbel is actually one of my favorite characters in this game. Ironically, considering not a lot of people like Gumbella. And of course, Gumbella can be quite helpful in battle, too. She jumps into the air and attacking attacking enemies with a nasty head bonk. She can also look up enemy HP and weaknesses with her tattle ability. First off, we gotta go find my professor. Thing is, since I just got to him myself, I um, don't actually know where he lives. So keep an eye out. Here's what Professor Frankly looks like. Thank you for projecting that image into my mind. Anyway, you can see there that Goombella actually has her own HP, unlike the partners from Paper Mario 1. Anyway, with that being said, I've recorded for long enough. So I'm going to end this first, uh, well, second, I guess, second episode here. So thank you all so very much for watching. My name is Laser Nexus, and next time on Let's Play Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, we're going to go look for Professor Frankly.
Because honestly, what else are we going to have to do here? So until next time, everybody. Hit this block to save all events you've experienced so far. Even if your game ends, you'll you can continue back from the last point you saved at. Anytime you find a block like this in your adventure, be sure to save. Say, uh, Save all game progress up to this point? Yes. So until next time, everybody.